So far in basketball season, during games, Charlie has shot 30 free throws. Unfortunately, she has made only 13 of them. Up to this point, what is her stat for percent of free throws made? Nobody in here plays basketball? So you don't know how to do stats? How do you do it? How many she made by how many shots she took? And that is give me to the thousandth, please. Point four three three. Is that what it asked for? My paper says it asked for the percent. How do you know that? So you're doing the cha-cha slide or something? Okay, I need you to mathematically know what's happening. Not that we are quote unquote moving a decimal. We're multiplying it by 100. Okay? So what does that give me? 43.3%. Okay? After such a poor start, Charlie gets some advice from the coaches and practices daily, which in my opinion she should have been doing the whole time. But what do I know? I'm just an algebra teacher. If she does not miss another free throw for the remainder of the basketball season, how many consecutive free throws will she need to make before her percentage reaches 80%, 90%, or 100%? Okay? So let's do some exploration here. We know that right now she's made 30 out of 13, which gives us a decimal of 0.433 or 433 thousandths. And my percent is 43.3%. Okay? What happens if she makes one more? Then her fraction is going to be 14 out of 31. Right? She, tr she made one more. She tried one more. What if she made two more? 15 out of 32. Right? What if she made three more? 16 out of 33. Every single time she tries one more, she makes it, but she makes it and she tries it, right? So the next one is 17 out of 34. The next one is, oh, 5, so it would be 18 out of 35, right? But then she makes 5 more than that this time. We go from 5 to 10. So we're going to go to, yes, 23 out of 40, okay? Then she makes 10 more than that. So she's at 33 out of 50. Then she makes 30 more. So 63 out of 80. Then she makes 50 more. 113 out of 130. So what are we doing every single time we get to the X? What do we do every single time to the X? x plus 13 divided by x plus 30. Excellent. Okay? So what I need from the first 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 of you is somebody choose one of these values and tell me what the decimal is and tell me what the percent is. Read it. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Read it. Um, would you please look for me on that one? Is it 0 0.451 or is it 0 0.452? I got the first one. Oh, wait. So, okay, so, no, that's fine. I d it doesn't bother me. We, I just want to make sure it's right, okay? 100? Exactly 0 0.87? I'd like three decimal places, please. Okay. Five. Excellent. Fifty. Twenty-eight. 
20? Exactly. Thank you. Somebody else said something a minute ago. Two? Thank you. Ten? Excellent. I need three and four. Somebody who hasn't done one yet. Damien, what you got? Which one is this one? Okay. Good. And I need four. Somebody who hasn't done one yet. Nice, Nathan. Okay. So it's really hard to graph some of these points over here, isn't it? Because starting at 1, well, it's going from 0 to 10 right here. That's, that's pretty tough, isn't it? 1 is 43, so it's somewhere like ish. Okay, look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over to 5, because 5 is point four, uh, five one. So it's like right there, ish. 10 is almost 60, but not quite. 20 is 66 percent, so right there-ish, 50, 79-ish, so almost 80, that may be a little bit too high, I think you'll get the idea though, right, so 100 is 80, Whoa. Ish, right? What equation relates these two quantities? We already started it down here, didn't we? My x value? So what is y going to equal? Uh-huh, x, x plus 13 divided by x plus 30. Is that all we did to get our percentage? Because see, that's, that's what's here, right? Then we do have to multiply it by 100. Excellent. After how many consecutive free throws will Charlie's percentage reach 80%? When is y going to be 80%? Well, we got a couple choices here, don't we? What could we do? So we could put in 80 for y and then solve it somehow. Or we could put the y equals into our equation and go look at the table, looking for 80 in the y column, maybe. We could look at the graph and see if we could, fi by tracing, find 80. Yes? It's like 84 different ways to figure it out. Choose one, see if you can find it. I know personally that it's more than 50 and less than 100. Do you know that personally? How? How do I know that? Because of the table, right? The table that we already did, I want it to be 80, so it's going to be greater than this one, but less than that one. And Jonathan says it is 55. So um, at 55 free throws, She reaches 80%. Is it exactly 80%? Yes? Awesome. When will it reach 
So at 140 free throws, she reaches 90%. Is it exactly 90%? Okay. When will it reach 100%? What do you mean, never? Ever? Not if she makes every single free throw from now to the end of time. And then when she gets to heaven, she makes them all there too. She had a bad start. Once, she, Even if she didn't have a bad start, even if she missed one, it's not 100%, is it? Okay. I have a calculator from last period. Um, they were using the table, just scrolling up and down on the table. And uh, I've been sitting here, not the whole time, but just since I sat down back here um, to make the recording, I've been sitting here holding down the down arrow. Okay, and so far I am at I'm getting pretty close to 100%. wonder if I could get there faster if I did menu, table, edit table settings and start at 10,000. Oh, that's a good idea. Count count by different than ones. Menu, table, edit table settings. Okay, so I started at 50,000. Look where I am. Is it all exactly the same? It looks like it is up here in the table, right? But down here in the bottom line, I don't I don't know if you can see that on the screen very well. When I move it, you can tell that those values are still increasing, can't you? Okay. So menu table edit table settings. What if I went to 